In this video, we're going to introduce you to one of the major features of the use of packages. That is the automated maintenance of the packages. It can save you just a huge amount of time in terms of creating your packages and documentation for the process here. So here we have a completed process here. And what I've already done, I've created a package for each of the stations. And if I go and look at what's happened in the background, you can see that for each station, we actually have a series of files here. Now, if we look at the very first one here, the mold parts on the left here, if I scroll down a little bit here, you'll see the mold parts. So there's actually three files involved with the initial start of the mold parts. There's always a base one. This is a copy of the original clone that was made. And then from it, we've created uh, the Timer Pro Revision 1001 here. And you can see we get two files flagged with this 001, the ChipX file. This is a copy of the actual process in the background at that particular point in time when the 001 version of the mold parts package was generated. This means you can always go back to the state of the process exactly at the moment when the package was created. And each of the individual uh, tasks in the process have the same combination of three files at the moment. Now, there will never be another attach tray XLSM. What we're going to do is bump the rev on the different revisions here as we go through it. So we'll minimize this. And let's say we make a simple change here. So let's say you decide to move the cleanup operation from the mold parts into the stack parts. So you just drag that across and drop it right there. Now, in this example here, by moving it from the mold parts into stack parts, we've actually changed not one process. We've actually changed two of them. We've changed this one because we've added this and we've removed it from here. So what the program is going to do is going to automatically update both those packages. So to do that, we hit the right mouse button. We click on the package and we say package station. Now you can see a lot of jumping around here, but you can see we're already on to revision two of the stack parts. That's where we put it. But you'll see flashing at the top here. It's going back and it's re retrieving the information from previous revisions to build revision two. It does take a little bit of time, but it's a lot better than doing it manually. You can see it putting everything together there and summarizing it. Now you'll notice it goes back momentarily there to the process. And now it's going to start building revision two of, this, of the mold parts, the one that it came from. So it's going to start putting this information together. So by making that single action there of moving it from the mold parts to the stack parts, it's updating uh, two of the uh, packages for you automatically here. When it finishes, it produces these package results. So you can see it's told you here that it's created the uh, stack parts, version 2, the cleanup. Element cleanup was moved from mold parts to stack parts. And here's the mold parts, version 2, cleanup. Element cleanup was moved from mold parts to stack parts. So in other words, it's telling you that it moved something from the mold parts into the stack parts, and it's showing you this. You can see the actual details here if you double click on let's say we want to see version 2 of the stack parts. It will open up here. Now we've added that. This is our cover sheet. The cover sheet shows the cleanup has been added and the job element sheet for that has also been added to package stack parts version 2 down here. And the other ones basically remain the same here. So as you can see, this can save you just a huge amount of manual effort in creating and maintaining your work instructions. The next couple of videos will show you a little bit more detail to see how, how much you can actually do here as you pass information between different stations and make changes and so forth. Now, if we look at what actually happened in the background here, here are two steps that were involved here. So the mold parts and the stack parts. We moved the uh, cleanup from the mold parts into the stack parts. So first of all, let's look at the, the stack parts. So down here you can see the base uh, XLSM sheet. That never changes. Here you can see revision 1 and here's revision 2. So you can see when it made the change, it not only created the new package, which is the uh, Excel sheet, but also made a copy of the uh, process at that particular point in time. Similarly, up here, the mold parts, you can see we've got our base one here, and we've got our mold part revision one, and here's revision two here. And we make it a little bit wider here, you'll see the time differences here. So revision one was created at 8.12, and revision two was created at 8.30. Same down here, this revision one was created at 8.16, and revision 2 was created around 8.30 right here. So you can see how it's actually creating the additional revisions of the uh, packages in the background here for you automatically.